Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is a quickie uh, free CAD video and I'm going to be showing you how to use the relatively new draft point array. Um, this is something that is found uh, I found uh, recently while doing this uh, silly docker logo <laughs> and I tried to do it with a path and this is the result and basically I couldn't you know get rid of this without things being spaced inappropriately so I had to have um, I don't know what the term is for that but everything had to be stacked evenly so but I really what I really want is just three blocks here and one block there and the draft point array allows me to do that fairly easily now um, this isn't a comp this isn't a complicated um, tool but it was there was one piece missing that made it hard to use but I saw that piece missing um, from a forum post which was really nice and you can see it right here and this basically this is how the, uh, the bottom line how to use it is you have some points and you join them with draft upgrades so I'm going to show you how to do that um, if but you know if you're already familiar with draft you probably do it with just these five steps and you can just head on your merry way so but uh, let's go through how to do that so first I'm going to hide the path array and this is the wire I use for the path array so I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to hide this this well guys so we can see the points so these are the points I want to put the cube on. So let me. So what you need to do is just select all the points, and you can do that with the uh, shift key. And I'm going to draft upgrade. And this was the piece that was that I couldn't uh, just surmise on my own. And that creates a block. It's not a you know it's not a cube. It's a block of of things. So now to create the point array, I select the object I want to array the you know the geometry. And then th this is called a list of points. Um, if you read some of the forum posts, they'll say list of points. And then you simply create the array. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's a fairly simple thing. Um, I was very excited that, it was th that it's that easy. And I can imagine a lot of good uses for this, although mine, my current use is kind of trivial. But I hope that helps, and I hope that teaches you a new feature of FreeCAD. And uh, I want you to have a great day, and make sure you subscribe and uh, you know hit the alarm bell so you get notified of these and uh, if you have a minute go over and check my patreon at math code uh, patreon.com math code print you can either become a patreon just to participate or become a patreon and uh, donate thanks a lot